The University of Canterbury is in Christchurch, which is the largest city on the South Island of New Zealand. The College of Engineering is one of five colleges in the university. It's currently got 2,850 equivalent full-time students, and that number is rising. The values of the college are to have an international presence and to be known for providing graduates who are work ready, who have um, experience in the professional world and who are culturally aware. We do that by offering them the opportunity to study abroad, to work with companies while they're still undergraduates and to expose them to um, different cultures within parts of New Zealand and their engineering solutions. The topics that the student can study here at the College of Engineering are um, huge in range. You can do anything here from nano-engineering to forest engineering. So we offer nine main programmes and associated disciplines. The undergraduate engineering degree, called the Honours Degree, is a four-year degree. It starts off with a common year everyone takes together and then students get to choose their profession that they want to go into. In the final year of the student's four-year degree, we give them a year-long practice in how to actually do engineering work, and that's the final year project program. The students work in teams, because almost all engineers work in teams, and they work over the whole year in a course that's structured to teach them all of the professional things that they need to know to actually practice as an engineer. Industry brings the projects to the department and they're put to the students at the beginning of the year and student teams are formed up around the things that the students want to do. Over the years we've had biomedical, we've had hip implants, and then we've had energy, buildings, materials, there's, there's really nothing we haven't done. Our graduates are ready to work. They have nearly the equivalent of three years of experience because we have taught them all of the competencies of how to work as engineers on whatever project it is you're doing. Being a professional engineer is not just about book learning and being able to do things practically. By giving undergraduates the opportunity to work in companies outside the university, they learn other things that engineers need, like communication skills and other soft skills. The work placement is a compulsory component of the graduate program. Um, students need to complete these days 800 hours, or about 100 days. As part of my degree, I've done two summers worth of um, internships. For me, it's been really helpful in figuring out what part of industry I actually want to work in. What we learn in class is theoretical and you need to learn how to apply that. So working in the industry is really helpful for that. You get to work on multiple projects, so it's really interesting. You get a better idea of what you've actually been doing. The benefits to the students are the actual application of their technical skill. But the second component really comes out in the reports they need to write on their work placement. What we're aiming to develop here is that life learning skill ability. The relationship between the university and industry is incredibly important, to the point now that there really is a social contract between industry and the university uh, and employing students so that they can complete their work placement. Our students work in a very interesting environment. We live in a country where students can either leave our shores and go into the Pacific Islands, for instance, or perhaps work in New Zealand with other Indigenous people. We've been working with um, long-term community partners for quite a, quite a number of years now. Um, for example, at um, the Kingdom of Tonga, um, we have students visiting every year and we work with uh, Tonga Power Limited over there. When they go over there, they've got the theoretical uh, knowledge. Uh, they don't necessarily have the uh, on-the-ground experience. Um, so when they go over there, uh, we either work with our community uh, partner organisations like um, Tonga Power Limited, and they provide a, a thorough level of research analysis or our students work directly with um, communities. Um, for example, we've got um, uh, schools that are now benefiting with um, uh, photovoltaic solar energy systems that our students put in there. Our students come back with, with a lot more leadership sort of capability um, and, and a lot more on the ground operational capability. This college has an ambition to grow its international student numbers and if we send our students out to other partners and other universities, they make connections over there. There are a range of opportunities for students to be involved in our international exchange programs. In working at an overseas institution, our students grow through the personal challenge of studying in a different culture. They gain global connections with other students. They also gain a global perspective on engineering. Our students gain 
Um, the experience of studying at a high profile institution like UC Berkeley or University College London and that creates a point of difference for them when they're looking for employment opportunities. A combination of a global experience, work integrated learning and cultural awareness uh, means that on graduation our engineers are snapped up by employers both in New Zealand and overseas and I think that's testament to the quality that we're turning out. Recently the government's announced a major investment in this college for us to refurbish our labs and bring them up to 21st century standard. So in the not too distant future we will have world class facilities that will attract overseas students, staff and visitors to come and work with us.